Hello learners, welcome to Anand Coaching and I am your teacher Dr. Anand. Today we will study about predation and its significance. What is predation? Predation word comes from the Latin word which means steal goods from a place or a person. So predation is actually a biological interaction when one organism which is known as predator is going to kill and eat another organism which is prey so in other words the predator is actually going to steal the goods and that goods are actually the organism meat or any other thing which required by the predator so that is why this phenomena or this interaction is known as predation in which the predator is going to attack on the prey and going to steal its life because of its meat the predators they are actually consumers consumers mean that they are going to utilize the meat of the other animal the predators they are adapted and often highly specialized for hunting with acute sense such as vision hearing and smell it means that predators they have very strong senses they can see very far they can hear very sharp noises and very small sound they can smell their prey from a very far distance because they are adapted and this is how they are going to get their food many predatory animals have sharp claws or jaws to grip kill and cut up their prey when we talk about prey the prey are actually the organisms which are going to be eaten by the predator so the prey they have developed anti-predator adaptation obviously the prey is also an organism with the brain and senses so they are going to do anything and everything to protect themselves from being killed that is why they have developed the anti-predator adaptation such as warning coloration for example some animals they protect themselves by changing their color this is actually their anti-predator adaptation so that they can merge with the environment and their predator it cannot detect them moreover alarm calls and other signals camouflage mimicry of well defended species and defensive spines and chemicals they all are the anti predator adaptations for example if you talk about jellyfish the jellyfish they produce some kind of chemicals if any predator comes near to them and that chemical is actually going to kill the predator so this is how the prey they are going to protect themselves the examples of predation includes cat and mouse fox and rabbit frog and mosquito hawk and small birds here the cat fox frog and hawk they are predators while the mouse rabbit mosquito and small birds they are prey now the size of predator and prey they are directly proportional to each other it means that if one thing is increasing the other thing will also increase and if one thing is decreasing the other thing will also decrease for example if we have a large prey number let's take the example of cat and mouse we have large number of mouse in a particular area as the number of mouse will increase so that the number of the predator which in this case is cat why because now the cats know that in this particular area they can get their food and their food is mouse so as the number of prey will increase the number of predator will also increase but as the predators they are going to consume the mouse the number of mouse is going to decrease and as the number of mouse is going to decrease so that the number of predator because now they have less mouse it means they have less food and as the food is less they are going to die or they are going to shift to some another environment or some other place in search of food and this is how the number of predator it is going to decrease now when the number of predator is decreased the number of prey or mouse is going to increase so this is like a predator prey cycle in which they both are dependent on each other one increases the other one increases one decreases the other one decreases so this is our lesson on predation and its significance 
If you have any question related to this topic, you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.